Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day 20 of the Lico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. Yay, I don't have a cash thing that I had to clear. Uh, today's farm is a 41 keys and rooms. There are n rooms labeled from 0 to n minus 1, and all the rooms are locked except for room 0. You can move out a room, but you cannot lock, uh, enter a locked room without having its key. When you visit a room, you may find a set of distinct keys in it. Each room has a number on it. Uh, okay, and okay, and are all the rooms connected? Is that what the idea was? Okay, uh, I mean, I, I think this is probably a good introduction. I don't know if it's, eh, I don't know if it would really be considered a medium anymore uh, nowadays. But I think with all the kind of abstraction around, I think the idea that it tries to do a little bit, which I don't know if it's a seed. Uh, and you let me know if it's a seed or not. Oh, I'm just trying to show my, I'm wearing my Lico shirt today for some reason. Um, but, uh, what was I going to say? But yeah, but basically it is just a, um, a problem of trying to disguise the fact that it is a graph problem, right? And of course, if you, you know, watch yesterday's, this is the same idea, which is another connected components. If you could visit all the rooms. So it's, um, it's, I guess, whether the graph is disjoint, if you want to be more, um, you know, into the vocabulary, right? Um, but really, yeah, um, I think it does a lot of stuff to make sure, you know, to disguise the graph part of it. Um, but, and unfortunately, uh, or fortunate, depending on, you know, how good you are at stuff like this, um, I think this used to be a, like, if I go back to way back in the old days, let's say, uh, I think this uh, is a skill that is more, um, like it's a skill that comes up from time to time, especially if you're, I guess, maybe taking like an algo class or something of like, okay, given th th that you have this problem, um, you know, how do you go from that to being able to see it as a graph problem and then solve it as a graph problem and then, you know, and so forth, right? But I, of course, nowadays for whatever, you know, because a lot of people have way more practice in it because of lead code and, and competitive and all these other things, um, you know, I, I think the, the idea is where you, um, it's less special than it used to be. Uh, but, and here, of course, the, the, <clears throat> the thing is just, mm, maybe you could even think about it as a minimum spanning tree, maybe, or I don't know, it doesn't really matter, right? Maybe just a spanning tree uh, of basically what you're trying to do now is just mapping, um, you know, what are the nodes and what are the edges and, and, you know, if you're not really, um, if you're not really clear on the graph concepts, say, um, it can be sometimes tricky to kind of figure out what are the nodes, what are the edges, even if you know, uh, if you understand the problem. So I think that's the stuff that I want to say about this one, but in this case, that's pretty much it. I thought I solved this, um, doing a contest, but 841 doesn't seem like it. So let, let's get started. Um, so you have zero, um, you could pick up you know, you have all the keys and all the rooms. So basically, you can think about rooms then as as um, it's kind of hard to visualize, isn't it? Right. But basically, you can think about each key, each room containing the keys. The key itself is uh, an edge, right? So that means that because you are kind of you know, work, work out the transitive property as well as in, in this sort of connected components um, where, you know, if A is connected to B and B is connected to C, that means A is connected to C. And in that sense, um, you know, you could kind of have a, um, like these implicit edges to, so that you don't have to think about what room you're in per se or something like that, right? Because you, I think that's kind of, I don't know. Maybe I'm explaining it in a confusing way. But yeah, let's let's get started then. And n is equal to the number of rooms. And then, um, and as we said, all this is, um, how do I say this? All this is connected components. So once again, I am trying to find my coin. That's what I'm trying to do because I've just picked one from my stash. Uh, so yeah, today let's see if I want to do breath first search or death first search. Uh, you know, I have a Amer traditional American quarter. This is from New York. Pretty cool. Maybe I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but heads, I do death first search. So that's oh jeez. Okay, it is heads. So I do death first search. All right. Uh, yeah. 
And given that n is a, a thousand and there, um, there are only three thousand edges, it should be good enough. So yeah, so let's just say we have visited is equal to force times n. Oops, how what? And then now we have visit uh, the current room, right? And <clears throat> yeah, <clears throat> and then four rooms of room uh, for key in this room. Maybe key, uh, I think key is fine. We visit um, that room afterwards. That's basically the idea. If we haven't seen it yet already, right? So that's basically the idea. Uh, and then we visit from room zero because that's the only room that we have available. And then after we check all the rooms, and we just check, you know, return whether or we visited every node. That's basically it. I hope. Oh, I forgot to. Um, eh. uh, I forgot to set this to true. That's what I was just about to do. Uh, I guess I could have done it here. I think. Oops. I think usually I do it this way. I don't know why I'm being a little bit weird today. But uh, yeah. All right. And then now let's give it a submit. Hopefully that's good. And it is. 994 day streak getting dangerously to the 1000 day streak. Um, but yeah. Um, as usual, this is going to be linear time, linear space in terms of V plus E, where V is the number of edges. Oh, sorry. V is the number of vertices, obviously. And edges is the number of edges, which is the total. Um, the um, you know the aggregation of all the rooms together, or the count or something like that. But yeah, um, don't really have anything else new to say. So that's what I have for today. Uh, I uh, it's the recording's a little bit late, so I'm gonna have to do my sleep routine soon. So no premium bonus question solved for today. Um, yeah. That's all I have, I guess. So yeah, stay good, stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.